Hello friends. Uh, I would like to introduce today Asan CRM. Let me tell you, like, this is the simplest CRM that you will ever see. So, nothing complex here. Basic CRM, simple to use, and I believe it is for everyone. Like, from small businesses to medium level businesses can easily use it. Secondly, it is available on cloud. So basically you can use it on mobile phones, iPads, laptops, computers, anywhere. You just need an internet connection and it is available. It is very responsive. So basically you have a mobile app for this and everything is available. Like you can open it in the mobile and it is quite responsive on that sense. And uh, like, so you can log into the system, your employees can log into the system based on their access level employees will see different things you will see different things uh, being an owner you need to look at overall picture but being an employee he needs to see only the things he is basically related with right and he is responsible for so i am just going to explain you and i am assuming that you are familiar with the basic uh, concepts of crm like leads or opportunities i will try to give a brief on that but still i am assuming on that sense okay so we will start on that this is the login screen. This login screen will be available to you, your employees and everyone who will be logging to this system. Moreover, uh, the same screen will be available on mobile or on any, any device you are using it. So let's say I'm having some user ID. I'm just using user ID, some password and I'll just sign into the system. Uh, currently I'm logging into uh, from the owner's perspective. So the person basically who is a super admin or then an owner of the business or maybe the manager who is taking care of everything. Uh, so from that perspective, I'm logging in. Now, yeah, as you can see on the dashboard, right, we have tried to put two things. And now I'm not going into very complex things. It's a simple CRM and basic thing that you generally look in, you would like to see. So for example, how many leads you are receiving month-wise? By leads, we generally mean queries. So any business receives queries, right? So how many receives, I mean, how many queries you are receiving every month? Like in January, it's 50. In February, it was 37 and something like that. Then you have the opportunities of lead sources. So uh, from which sources you are receiving these leads. So as you can see in this case, 86 leads are received from LinkedIn. So uh, four leads from web, 42 leads from mail. So it all depends. Like you may have different sources, like you may have India Mart or just dial Facebook, whatever the sources that you have, walk in something like that. Then we have opportunity lead profession. So the queries that you are receiving, they are coming from which profession? Um, I mean, are they managers, CEOs, uh, clerk level people, whatever. You can decide yourself on that part. You can create your professions. Then we have opportunities closed or won. So uh, open basically. Uh, so you know, okay, I mean, some query comes to you, you qualify it. If you think, okay, this query is fine, it's worth going for it, worth trying it, that becomes an opportunity. Now that opportunity that you're working or your sales people are working on, right? Is it closed or open? that you can see from here. Uh, then do you have the lead status. So again, lead status is basically, it, it, it leads to queries. Uh, so uh, it's open or closed. It, it doesn't mean like you have closed or open. It is it more related to like, it is qualified or not qualified, right? Then you have the lead industries. So the leads that you're receiving, it is coming from which industry? Right? Is it transportation technology? Any other industry it could be. Then you have account industry. So what I mean by account, account in case of CRM is generally the company that you're working with basically. So lead is generally a person who is calling you or maybe in touch with you. Uh, but account is the company that you're working with. It is quite possible that you are having one account, but you're having multiple queries from single account, right? From one company itself. Then you have the task status. I'll come to that. Uh, in, in this system, you can manage your task. You can assign tasks to your employees and you can see the status of what they are working on, what they are doing exactly on this, and how many states are, state, I mean, tasks are in the resolved status, assigned, open, whatever is happening, right? Then you have the lead status. The similarly, the leads that will, uh, I mean, come to your system or the CRM, maybe certain employees or maybe you are working on that, and what is the what is going on on those leads? Like, is it done? Is it assigned to somebody? It is in progress, and what exactly is happening on the leads? Then you have the lead conversion rate. So when I say lead conversion rate, it basically uh, how many queries you are receiving and how many out of them actually uh, 
converting it to the sales that's what the lead conversion rate means then you have the leads to follow up uh, okay this is one of the most important thing most of your employees will look into this and leads to follow up is basically for example the leads that you are receiving that leads will uh, certain employees will work on it then most of the time it happens like call me tomorrow or i'll be talking to you on this date give me a demo or something i mean all these things so basically i'm not talking about opportunity the leads i'm talking about uh, so you, you generally forget to i mean the leads to follow up right so once you have put in the date okay on this date i want to follow up with this date or your employee put in there then on this dashboard you will always know okay what all leads i need to follow up so whenever you come to the system you just need to uh, any employees or you just need to come to dashboard and you will be able to see you will never miss a lead to follow up right you can see all the details from here what exactly is happening on these leads whom it is assigned to what is their mobile number email and other stuff that you are working on so and the next stuff is the task so again the uh, leads are generally the only the leads that you are working on task is could be the internal task like uh, you you may have some internal task within the uh, your company your business right do this stuff do that stuff follow up with them or something like that so those kind of internal tasks whom it is assigned to uh, uh, what exactly is happening on them what is the due date and all those things you can manage from here you can see the details of the tasks i mean uh, let's say you just click on this right you just click on this and you can see okay what exactly is happening on this task i'll just tell you so as you can see like what is this reseller account who has raised it what department it belongs to what is the due date of it what is the priority going on and if you want to put some comments on it so these comments will be available as a uh, as a uh, you can say logs that what exactly has happened on that particular task similarly uh, i'll just miss it on uh, the, on the leads part leads also you can just click on the leads and you can see which uh, all the details regarding that lead basically and what exactly is happening on this like when to follow up so if you want to put next follow up you can do that and in in case uh, the everything is done you just click on follow up done and it will this lead will be closed basically so this way you can manage a small business uh, on this and you can up to medium level but our goal here is to make it simple to use not making it a complex so i'll just start with the basics so uh, the, okay leads so leads or queries anything i mean any business want queries any business want leads so this is the leads or queries that you will receive what you can do once uh, a lead comes to you just click on add new lead and uh, you just put in the person like mr mrs their name their phone number requirement what exactly the requirement they have which profession they belong to from which sources they have come from like google adwords marketing automation that leads certain other things that you may have what is the status of the lead like is it a assigned status have you assigned it to somebody is it in progress you have started working on it or is it done right then there are the other related information to that lead you can put in it is also always useful to have maximum information within you because it is not about converting the lead right now this information may help you in the future because i mean everybody is saying right data is the next fuel so you need this data so try to capture as much data as possible for your business particularly so in that sense we have put an email alternate email their date of birth their anniversaries number of employees address and other stuff like okay assigned to belongs to like which employee basically you have assigning this one right then you have uh, the alternate number which company they belongs to which industry they belongs to what is their website title active and inactive so basically uh, there is nothing like delete here if you make it inactive means this lead is deleted for you and you can put in some remarks whatever you want to so this is the way uh, lead comes into picture you can create these leads if it is coming as a walk in or uh, maybe through call also uh, you can basically this uh, the lead will come here automatically through different sources so for example let's say uh, you you receive your leads from india mart maybe facebook google adwords just dial or maybe other any other source that have some apis available so in that case you need not to do anything we will immediately i mean we will connect it with the those apis and those leads will be captured here automatically you need not to do anything once this that lead is captured i mean that lead is captured from any other source or maybe that you have created that lead uh, manually once that lead is captured the same moment one sms and one email will be sent to the 
that client automatically so for example let's say welcome to our company and this and that whatever format that you want to put in you can put in there that will be done and after that or let's say for next two months you need not to do anything this system this crm will keep following them with different mails at different intervals let's say every five uh, days and like this it will keep following them and in case you want to stop it you say okay this lead has converted to sales we don't want to bother them anymore you can just stop that as well so this system helps you in that manner so basically it's a uh, marketing automation once you have put in the lead the marketing is happening automatically lots of work that you your uh, employees generally do and they forget to do all these things regularly this uh, software will never forget right and uh, once all these things are done basically then what you need to do uh, so the next thing that i would like to share with you is the whatsapp part right uh, so we have indicated whatsapp here whatever whichever employees using this system right if they are using in their mobile uh, they don't need to do anything if they click on whatsapp so most of the time it happens that you you need to store the name of the person in, in your mobile phone and then you send a whatsapp but in this case you need not to do anything you just open it in your mobile or maybe from the system and it when you click on the whatsapp right the same time it will open uh, the whatsapp for you and you can send the predefined messages or the custom message if you want to send so it's, it becomes very easy to follow up with them on the whatsapp also if you would like to integrate the system with the whatsapp i mean the whatsapp api that is provided we can do that as well but in this case it solves a lots of problems for you okay so this is the first thing and if you want to uh, filter it as per your requirement you just click on show filters there are certain filters that you will put in like the lead id the requirement the, by the name you can search by the sources you can search the follow up date you can search with mobile number email id what is the status of let's say you can find to out like how many leads are in progress right and whom it has been assigned to so this way you can search it you just can you can just hide filter so this is the first thing that you can do i mean you can create leads through it now uh, let's say you have you have started working on the leads and you have qualified leads okay this is the final lead and it must be an opportunity for you and you want to work on this so you just need to click on convert to opportunity uh but before going there i'll just uh, like to a uh, few things like update will allow you to update this lead i mean if you want to change certain de uh, details related to it if you want to remove it you just click on remove and let's say you have found this lead uh, uh, an opportunity for you you just click on convert to opportunity once you click convert to opportunity it will ask you are you sure you want to convert to opportunity and of course you want to go ahead you just click on okay and once you say okay this lead will be convert it to opportunity so the next part will be the opportunity now opportunity is a different thing opportunity is a kind of query that has come closer and uh, you believe that okay this can convert to leads now once you have come up come to the opportunities part right i mean the lead will be converted to opportunity directly but you can also create opportunity directly because there are there are times when you want okay i mean you know this query is any ways it's an opportunity we need not to go through the uh, query system so it it is it can be converted to sales very easily so you can convert it directly I'm going to add new you just click on add new and you can create a opportunity there itself now uh, when you are creating an opportunity again the few things like the name the requirement the phone number which profession they belong to what are the sources i mean from which sources this opportunity has come from then other information this information is mostly the same which is there in the uh, lead except few things for example now since it is an opportunity you must have an idea like what is what could be the amount i can get from this uh, opportunity if it becomes a sale in case you have lost it you need to put in what is the reason to i have lost this opportunity it will help you in the future to understand okay what kind of uh, opportunity you have lost it and what was the reason right it allow you to uh, analyze your business better and do uh, certain stuff on that because better you analyze your system better you will do in the future and it will lead to your growth so what what could be the reason like loss to competitor it doesn't have any budget no decision price any other reason it could be right so there are certain things and uh, then you have assigned to which employee you are assigning it to 
which account it belongs to now when when an opportunity comes into picture right you need to tell that okay, which account so by account we mean which company or which business this opportunity belongs to uh, so any other company i mean if you don't want to make it account you just want to put in some company name you can put in here few more things related to this opportunity is the stage so when a query comes in then it is qualified or what's the qualification it comes to different sources these are the standard uh, stages of a sales funnel that we capture like need analysis probability the proposal negotiation is going on closed one closed loss so basically closed one means you have won it and it has become a sale and it is closed now or closed loss means you have lost it it's it is not it has not become a sale and it, you need to close it yet in both the cases you need to put the like what what is the reason i mean if you lose it what is the reason if you won it what is the reason so you can put it in the remarks what is the close date what is the probability of getting converted it to the sales all this information is required believe me if you keep putting this information to your business for a long time in one year two year down the line even in six months you will see the magic happening into your business that you will have lots of things to analyze and you will see okay that ton of things that you were missing on that part you can also put the product details so when it when it comes to opportunity uh, you can also put in the what kind of product generally they are you i mean it is under consideration what is the quantity what is the amount it is an optional thing you want to put in and you can add in multiple products this way right so this way i'll just come back to the opportunity part uh, once you save this opportunity and you have all this information again the whatsapp functionality is there you can click here and get the information more information about this opportunity right and you can add up at the follow up so follow ups is one of the most important thing uh, this you can do it in the leads also uh, when you receive a lead or your opportunity you just need to click here and you can keep adding your follow ups so when you keep adding your follow ups the next follow up date whatever you put in this based on this follow up date it will give you alerts and reminders on your dashboards so you never miss a Uh, and in uh, in the further case like in the future uh, as an owner it will allow you to understand like okay what all details are there what all follow ups were happening if there is some uh, it it made i mean many times it happens that employees are not actually working on the system uh, so they are putting something random on that so you need to ask them okay just whatever is happening let put it there in the future we'll ask them like okay these much follow ups are happening there may be people who are showing you Ten follows, but nothing is happening. There are people who are showing you two follows, but many things are happening. So it all depends. You can analyze it in the future. I just close it, and again you can update the opportunities. You can remove the opportunities. You can filter the opportunities. Just click on show filter. There are many filters that we are putting. You filter it by state wise, date, date, mobile number, city, remarks, if it is active or not, which country they belong to, what is the sources from. which professions they have come from so many sources they have tried to put in here you can just hide it then the next thing that comes into picture is the account so account is basically the company that you are working in you must have an information as i told you right data is a few next few also you need to have as much information as you want so you can put in more information here you can add a new account so account is basically the companies that you are working in working with sorry so all these companies so you can put their name what kind type their mobile number their address and all this this is basically the uh, the companies that you are working with or maybe the businesses you are working with this is more related to that you can go to action update it remove the account you want to see the information again click here see the information close it okay the next is the contact book so contact book is what what is contact book i mean many people get confused over here uh, with leads and also leads and queries are the they come up with a specific requirement so a person is calling you or maybe putting a query with a specific requirement that is the query or lead but certain time it happens that you are working with a company many queries has come to you from that company right and other than this you know many people in that company that may be helpful to you in the future so those people who are not exactly the queries for you they are into your contact book so you need to keep these people in your contact books because they may be helpful at certain negotiation level i mean at certain levels they could be helpful so you need to maintain a contact books of all the business or the queries that you have so uh, if you go to contact book click on add new uh, 
so this is basic uh, so what is what kind of contact type it's a primary or the secondary secondary primary could be the person maybe the ceo main manager secondary is the some clerical level person who may not be directly involved but may be helpful in the future account which account they belongs to it is very mandatory here so when you maintain a contact book i mean you have contact you need to tell of which company or which business they belong to whom they are reporting to so there is a possibility that uh, uh, you know okay you have one person in there and he's reporting to uh, for example in a company you have two people you contact right so you need to know okay this person is reporting to that person in the same company another information name phone number designation department these are some certain simple things that you need to maintain okay other than this now this is more related to customer part the crm part now other than this we have the employees part so it is a mini hr system that you can manage and i believe this system is enough for a small to medium business in general you need not to go for a detailed uh, hr system so basically the people having one employee to maybe 20 30 employee 35 40 employee this is perfectly fine with them i believe and uh, so you can create your employees just click on add new right uh so you can put in their name their email address the contact number the date of joining which sources so sources is basically uh, let's say you have employees and every employee is handling the different sources one is handling the facebook leads one is handling the just dial leads and another is taking care of the leads that is coming from all so you can just man- manage the sources whatever course sources will be assigned to that employee he will be able to see the leads from that uh, sources only this is uh, a part which is available to you and you can put in the address of the employee which state they belong to city state and pin code other stuff then we have the emergency numbers you need to have emergency numbers of the employees uh, in case of uh, the private number is not uh, picked up or something like that i mean you need to have the certain alternative numbers their health insurance number emergency contact details so emergency contact details i mean their parents or whatever the guardian and all their insurance details you put in the date of birth anniversary father's name reporting to so basically you may have multiple em- employees in your organization and one employee is reporting to another employee you need to put a hierarchy which person they are reporting to which department they belongs to what is their designation blood group you can put in insurance expiry bank account number esi number pf number aadhar number pan card number remuneration it is basically the salary that they are receiving from you and account status logged or active so logged means the maybe the employee has left you so you can just log the account and otherwise it should be active right and then you have certain remarks related to that uh, employee so this way you can uh, maintain the lots of information regarding an employee coming back to the employee uh, data table here now uh, this is the basic information you can you just click on show filter you can uh, i mean filter your employees based on these filters like contact number their name their designation I'll just hide filter, and if you want to see the information regarding them, again you can click here. If you click over here, you can see the lots of information regarding them, right? The father name, address, and the, so whatever that you have put in there. All this information is available. You can print it if you want to do that, and employee code is automatically assigned to them. Now one more thing I would like to point out here: you can update it. You can see the history of the employees. I mean, if you are making certain changes. and then you have upload and download document this is this is one of the most important point here uh, like whatever the pan card aadhar card and other stuff that you having the documents that you are having maybe the joining letter and whatever you can just upload and download you just click on upload download documents right so you can uh, choose the whatever file that you may be having and then you can select okay address proof bio data others id proof driving license or others anything it could be any other part you just upload all these documents and you can download from here itself so this is all about managing your employees here now uh, i'll come to that part once again uh, at the last uh, before that i'll just show you from few more things so this is from the uh, super admin perspective or the owners perspective i'm showing you now that now comes the task management so in the within your companies i mean uh, the person is working on the leads if they are working on the lead that will be task as well but you may have some internal task so in that sense you can go to task let's let's say i'll i'm going to all and i'll create a new task here right so i'll just create a new task here i can see okay which opportunity or lead they are working on 
uh, in case uh, it is an internal task you can leave this part right and then you can start what is the title of the task uh, whom you are assigning it right to who they who i mean who is the person who is working on this what is the priority of this task uh, what is the status so it is an open open means it's still open nobody is exactly working on it assigned means it has been assigned but not yet started working in progress a person is working on this resolve means this task is done what is the due date of the task resolution date and the description so as the due date is very important if the due date is of today then it will show you in the dashboard so that the person is remains alert okay fine i mean this many tasks is due for today i have to complete it right this is the way you can create a task here now so all task means all the tasks so if you are an ad, uh, owner then you will see the task of all the people but if you are an employee then i'll show you that part in that case you will be see you will be seeing the uh, task which is uh, assigned to you related to you that's it nothing else now if you want to see the information you can just click here see the information you can put in the comment so uh, let's say uh, the owner has assigned some task to employee and employee want to put in some comment that i'm not able to understand it please clarify and then again he said okay talk to them then again he says okay i have talked to them this and that oh, whatever the conversation is happening you can put in here it will help you in the future that what kind of conversation you are having on each task when you want to analyze it you can come to action you can update it you can see the history of the task and all the stuff you want to filter it click on show filter and you can filter it accordingly you can hide it okay now there are three things uh, that i'll just explain you this these are the task but assigned to me means when i'll log into this assigned to me means this, the task it has been assigned to me even an owner i could i can have tasks which are assigned to me and some employee has given some task to me right in return the okay sir work on this and that created by me means i have created it it may be assigned to somebody else and the third part is assigned by me so assigned by me is basically delegated by me so let's say uh, an owner has assigned a task to employ xyz now xyz as an employee has delegated this task to abc employee i mean employee name is abc now xyz employee will see this task in assigned by me because he has delegated this task again to somebody else because he may not be available for some time for certain task so this way you can manage all the tasks and you can see an overall overview of this now okay coming on to masters so uh, profession and sources so you can create your professions yourself i mean uh, different business are working in different professions so you can create your profession yourself you can create your sources yourself uh, i'm not going to that part but you can this is this is the kind of master that you are building right and uh, certain other stuff you you can go here click on view profile now this whole system is connected with the emails and sms so change password is basically you can change your password from here update means you can update the details that is given over here right and uh, then you can configure smtp so configure smtp is mostly related related with the uh, your basically i mean configuring your email so as i told you the system is connected with the emails your clients will be receiving email so which from which email id you want to send it you can configure yourself configure sms api you can configure some third party sms apis here notifications configure welcome content so whatever the welcome content you want to send to your client you can uh, click here i mean and can decide what welcome content you want to put in india mart configuration one configuration is uh, already combined here but if you want to uh, integrate it with let's say just dial facebook adwords or maybe some other stuff we we just i mean generally integrate it and then import leads so you have the leads that you want to import directly so you can just click on import leads and you have a sample sheet you need to put those leads into that particular uh, format then only you can upload it using your excel sheet so this way you can do uh, lots of stuff here and uh, one last thing i'll just come back here in the employees part so uh, you are an um, uh, owner and you want your employees to log into the system so it's very simple just click on add new and cre uh, create an employee i'll just create a employee let's say hitesh uh, okay i'll just put it rajesh his email address is let's say rajesh1 i've just created a random id here mailinator.com contact number you can just put in date of joining you can just put in 
anything over here sources let's say google adwords address okay punjabi bag then the state that you can you put in let's say delhi what district delhi city delhi pin code 110026 right and other stuff i'm not putting as of now um, let's say it's important to i'll just make it active okay and once you click on save changes right once uh, once you click on save changes then you see right like, you have one error in the form or uh, i'll just change it phone number already exist i'll just change it to some random number as of now 999665 some random number i'm putting over here and i'll just do the save changes okay as you can see rajesh user has been added over here and uh, once this is added i'll come to the inbox and as you can see the email has received so the same email will be received by your um, employee to whom so you are getting so let's say uh, we have uid 1127 is the i mean the login id and this is the password that they will get it so what what they will do they will just click on the crm login i'll just uh, come here i'll just log it up log out now and i'll try to log in from the uh, employee perspective now you will see the difference that what you, your employee will see so i'll just copy it here put it here i'll just copy the password put it the password the password here and sign in right now save it and now see since this employee is logging it for the first time right nothing is there so he he is not looking at all on the overall perspective of the dashboard as you can see the sources and all those things he will be looking at his things what he is responsible for so leads to follow up since he doesn't have any leads to follow up as of now so he will be looking at this leads to follow up and the task so basically he is responsible for two things whatever the leads that he is working on and whatever the task he is working on and he will be updated with all the tasks so he just need to come in here and look at the dashboard that's it nothing else okay now the second part he can create the leads in case he wants to right same way uh, so basically uh, again uh, this leads and all that uh, you may assign to him uh, this is the one that they can see this is the uh, dummy lead that we have just created for you know, dummy purpose you can just leave it then the opportunity so these these are the same things that i have just explained to you all these things he can just uh, see here Uh, he can create the accounts. He can see the contact books. He can manage their tasks. Uh, and as you can see, there is no all task because he cannot see the task of everyone. He can he is responsible for his own task or maybe the assigned by him or the created by him, right? So this way, you can maintain access level so that your employee can see only his things. He will not look at all the things, and all other things are actually same the accounts and contact book. But again, in all those things, he will be responsible. for whatever he is doing it or maybe the access that you have provided to them that's it guys so this is a system this is a crm i believe it's very simple to understand there is no complexity in it you need not to understand the uh, i mean complex jargon of this crm and all it's very basic system that how you can manage your customers how you can manage your employees how you can manage their internal tasks how you can manage the tasks that is assigned to the leads you can get your leads automatically from certain uh, india mart just dial facebook and other stuff you, know, you can send the automated welcome email the task you generally need to do but that is done automatically marketing automation is done that is done also automatically for next few months right if that is not convert so this is one of the basic part of crm that we have other than this we have the another version where uh, certain other parts is also there including the accounting and payment part Uh, i'll not going to that that's a different part of it thank you guys uh, i believe it's it's a long session but it gives you a deep insights into this system and also to understand a bit about crm what a crm is like right. uh, thank you thanks a lot